Okay, so we are in the toll house. And I have no idea what we're gonna find in here. If anything. That might be worth a look. A button on the wall. Okay, a hidden room. Uh-oh. A cave system? Seriously? Oh, no. The last time I jumped into a cave hole like this, it was a huge mistake. Let's read everything here first. A gold ingot, I'll take that. A soul coin, I'll take that. What's in the logbook? This messy financial ledger records an import tax charged to merchants by the Rythwin Toll House. The, class was ex the tax was excessive, included gems and jewelry in addition to gold. Uh, several notes are scribbled on the final page. Trade is slowing. Merchants scared of Ketherick. Nervous of war. He will not take my due. Arrow of transposition. Arrow of darkness. Alright. Do I need this lantern in here? Or is it only for outside? Right? Because now we're inside this cave. I don't know if this lantern actually does anything in the cave or not. Although it is lighting everything, so that's good. Right? <clears throat> only outdoors. It only helps outdoors. Ah. At least I can see better with this, though. So a rustic chest. Gold and a bronze ingot. Is that really it? That's all that's here? Seriously? Well, if so, this place sucks. There's nothing else down here? <clears throat> well, at least you have a map on, like, Pal World. Yeah, in Pal World, remember, we'd be walking in circles for the next hour. Because there's no maps in the dungeons. All I see, basically, is a bunch of bones, bodies, and a few mushrooms and shit. I don't really see anything else. See this? Look. Casual sandals and a burlap sack and a bunch of dead bodies. See? I don't really see anything. Unless, unless there's something I'm not seeing at first. Can you destroy, like, the plants or something? Open the casket. No. A moldering coffin. Some stuff is not actually showing up with my right thumbstick, like those coffins. You can't walk under there. Can I climb this? Doesn't look like there's anything there, right? To me, anyway. Can you jump in the water? No, you cannot jump in this water. It's not allowed. Damn it. I really want to see what's in here, but I'm not finding anything. I just want to Can't look. climb in there. I don't see any switches. There's another body right here. Mason's journal. Okay. The journal of Mason named Pid punctuated by diagrams and calculations. Pid describes his work on a secret tunnel leading from the toll house basement to the exterior. The final entry takes on a sinister tone. Excavation's almost complete. I've devoted every drop of blood, every bead of sweat. <clears throat> For what? During... Garengoth's not yet dropped a single coin, but he's got no shortage of threatening stares. I should never have turned from the guild. Even if I beg to return, they'd be in their rights to refuse, but I'm not above asking once the dust is clear. Hmm. Could this be burned? So we came down right here. So 
so that can't be it. There's got to be something down. I guarantee you there's something down here. Could this be burned? This thing? Can we burn the shadow root sack and see if it has an effect on anything? Zero. It's fireproof? The shadow root sack is fireproof? I guess it's just an item you could you could pick up. Okay. There's seriously there's something here, but what? It's not a cross because it, it definitely can't be over there because they won't let you go over there. Like there's no way to actually be over there because as you can see, look, it says there's not enough space to traverse over there, so it cannot be there. And we can't jump on the roots. Okay, this might help, actually. Because maybe you'll be able to see, like, through a wall. Like, this is where you're supposed to go. It looks like there's something there, right there. But I don't know. Maybe it's here. Maybe this is it right here. Like, right here? But it doesn't look like a breakable surface, right? It certainly doesn't look breakable. I don't think so. I don't think that's it. It's weird because it looks like there's stuff through the wall there, but I don't think that's it. <clears throat> that's just going to take us back up. I don't, think there's, I don't think there's anything down here. I'm being told by someone there is something down here. I seriously don't see it. Unless... Wait a minute. Is it the column? Can the column break? Because I can see inside of it, which is weird that you can see inside of it looking top down. <clears throat> uh, I know. Usually there's cracks or something. I don't see anything like that. How's my path interrupted? What the fuck? This thing is so stupid. <clears throat> I don't know. No, I don't think there's anything down here. I don't see any cracks on a wall. I don't see anything that could be breakable. I think this is a waste of time. Which is weird, because then the whole this whole area is a waste of time. Right? Because <laughs> there was nothing down here, really. So why would they have created an area with nothing in it? That is that is bizarre, I will admit. Uh, this doesn't work. Nope. <laughs> well, I don't see it. I don't think there's anything down here. I think this is baloney. <clears throat> it was Playcool who kept saying there's something down here, but I don't think so. <clears throat> I think this is a dead end. I don't see anything destructible. Right? Ignis. No. No, I'm gonna give up and go back up. There's nothing down here. I looked at every wall. The only wall that looked like there was some <coughs> something at it. <coughs> Excuse me, was this one? But I, I already threw something at it. It doesn't did do anything. Other side of the pillar. What pillar? This pillar? I'm looking at the pillar from every side. And as you can see, there's nothing there. <clears throat> And same thing on this pillar. Nothing. See that? No. There's nothing. 
You're full of it. Yeah, this is dumb. I'm not wasting any more time on this. I don't see nothing. Let's get out of here. Wasted fucking ten minutes on this. There's probably nothing here. Wait. Oh, here it is. I was like, how do I get back up? <clears throat> Weird building, though. Why would this even exist? A secret passage leading to a room, and there was really nothing in it. It was kind of a waste of time. Wait a minute, did it say heavy, heavy chest? Where's there a heavy chest? I didn't find a heavy chest. Oh, over here, we already did that. Right, we already did this? No, we didn't actually loot that, okay. Yeah, that was a waste of time. I don't know why that's even in the game. Looks like Viking Hat is massively in the lead. So I'm probably just going to go get it now, and then we'll continue to explore. What a shocking surprise that the Viking hat won. I never would have expected. <laughs> uh, oh, Play Cool is, th is thinking you get to it from another area or something. You get to that area again. All right. Oof. Give the people what they want, the crown. If you're talking the inflatable crown, that thing doesn't even work anymore. That thing, like, won't inflate properly anymore. <laughs> that, that inflatable crown was not meant to be used for, like, more than, a, like, one time. It was a piece of shit. It came with uh, one of those loot crates I had 100 years ago. And it's a piece of junk. So, okay. Alright, so that was the toll house. Now we can continue. We need to go down or this way. What's this way? Ugh. Stupid roots. Get the fuck out of my way. Skeleton. Ooh, spooky. Look, spooky. I guess we could go this way? This leads across the water. See that? The other way goes to another area, you know, here around the toll house. This leads across the water to a different area. Traveler's chests locked. Of course they are. Why would they not be locked? They're out well, in the open. Of course they're locked. What am I thinking? A crooked touch. Gloom Strand Shield. Stealth plus one. Supposedly fashioned from a flock of hair stolen from the head of a prince of Gloomrite. Thirty-two. I don't care about the chalice. Let's get going. Let's get going. So this just kind of goes back to where we had come from. Perhaps we should go do the other thing first. Hope I don't run out of lockpicks. Apparently you don't you don't lose a lockpick <clears throat> if you if it does it properly, right? Isn't that true? That's what someone said is you don't lose a lockpick unless you fail. And I don't fail. Asterion always succeeds. The toll house. Oh, there's enemies in here? Oh fuck me. Apparently, enemies in the toll house. Yeah, they're up. They're up top. Look, what the hell was that bloated zombie? Wasted. Wait a minute. Hello. Hi. Want to talk? Visage of regret. Hello. You should leave now. I should have left when I still could. You can just talk to these things. So they're not aggroing enemies. They're just. They want to. They want to chat. Forget it. It's blocked from behind. Oh, we must find a way in then, from another direction. It 
Why are these walls not rendered right? You see that, right? The wall is not smooth at all. It's two different renderings of wall put by each other by accident. They screwed this up when they made it. So how the hell do we get in this then? Okay, uh, hmm. So how do I get into this building? I want in. Well, I don't see a way in from where we are. Maybe from the other side? This is the Moonrise Tower entrance. There's the waning moon. Uh... Where did it wait where did it go I'm very confused I'm not a sucker I'm not taking that gold Maybe from here? No. Shit, how do you get in this thing? Maybe it's from the top floor? Because there's no way to climb. You definitely can't break a wall. Yeah, I don't know. And now I'm stuck. Oh, shit. Look what I just did. Look what I did. <laughs> I put myself in a, in a position I can't leave now. I'm stuck. God damn it. <laughs> now we gotta walk back. The walk of shame. So maybe there's a top floor. Let's look around, because we never investigated this area at all. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Aha! Look at this guy! What do you bring? Oh, this is the guy who was in the toll house. He turned into like a, uh, a fucking King Midas. Who are you? I know who he is. Pure unadulterated arcana. I require gold. It's a woman. What do I get in return? You can pass, but first you must pay. How much does it want? Toss the creature a gold piece. We ate it! Or she ate it. She eats the gold. Another! Oh! Yeah, how much? All that you have. I don't want to hunt out that much gold for so little in return. You may pass the river, but first you must pay. So we've got persuasion. Or intimidation. Persuasion's way better. Or deception. I'm here to replace you as the toll collector? That's pretty funny. Why stay in this rotting building? Why not just take your gold and be free? Let's try that. Ah, 
I am boned. But I can roll again. And that time I passed it. Good. Good, good. <clears throat> the gold is not for me. The gold is for the tall. I collect the tall. I collect the gold. We gotta do it again. It says who? Seems to me there's no one here to oversee you. Got it. Beautiful. Gold. 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 No. I paid back. <laughs> we beat her. Penny Pincher. Defeat the toll collector without her using gold against you. Excellent budgeting. Okay. I don't know what that means, but great. Well, she had gold on her. We also got the key. An unsigned trade visa? Suggests a counterfeit in progress. Whoever made it was planning to trade illegally within the toll house. Let's take that. And the Twist of Fortune Mace. When you roll two or less with this weapon's damage die, re-roll it and get a new result. And a new ability called Tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal bludgeoning damage. It's pretty good. Basically, it's a, it's a not, you can't miss with this weapon. It's a, a non-missable weapon. Twist of fortune. Of course, mine's better that I'm using, right? But, okay. Sweet. If you fight her, she'll deal damage for every piece of gold that you're carrying. Really? Oh. Well, fuck her. <laughs> to, to hell with her. Oh, uh, let's put this, I guess, in it to camp. We're not going to use that right now. Oh, shit. There's a giant pile of gold. Oh, my God. She had all this gold on her. Look. About 600 gold she had on her. Yeah. Not bad. It rerolls the damage die, not the hit die. Oh. If you kill the floating souls in the area, it weakens her and then she barely does any damage. Oh, you don't have to do nothing. Just do a check, a dialogue check. <clears throat> so I got a $2 tip. Sony announced Silent Hill, the short message, a spinoff of the Silent, uh, of the classic horror franchise set in modern day Germany. It's available later today for free. Well, here's the thing. I'd be down to do that on Friday. If you guys want me to do that as the mainstream on Friday, I would play that. And then we'll just bump everything by like a day, which is fine. Then we'll do Baldur's Gate on Saturday. I just hope that if I do it, people will show up and hang out with me and watch me play it. You know, rather than say, oh, what are you doing this for? Right? Wait, so the visage of guilt is now dead? The visage of guilt is now dead. No, 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 no. I'll go there. I wanted to open, I wanted to pick up the gold. This goes somewhere else. With the lockpick though. So there's gold all around this toll house. We'll go there next. I wanted to open this one over here first. I'm assuming this is what the... Yeah, look, all the visages died. All the visages died when she died. So what's going on in the toll house? That's curious. What's curious? What'd you find? Booby trap? Oh no, a destructible floor. Okay, which we will destroy. Something over there. The Iron Vine Shield. While the wielder is holding a weapon empowered with shillelagh, and when they are hit by a melee attack that... Who's the hell's ever gonna use that? Put that in camp. Fucking shillelagh? What the hell is that? The Toll House Ledger. <clears throat> An official record of traders, blah, blah, blah. All right, who cares? Let's break the floor. Everyone stand back. Everyone come over here. That is a crappy animation. Oh. 
We no longer have the, uh... We no longer have Featherfall. It ran out, right? I guess we're gonna have to use another scroll. Unless I'm okay with taking the seven damage, but I, I kind of don't want to die. Eh, we could probably buy scrolls of Featherfall, like, cheap. Huh! I have to do it. I literally have to do it. Scroll of Confusion. This is the Scroll of Confusion! <clears throat> Ooh, muddy red dye. I got some dye. That's cool. That I'm happy about. You almost never see freebie dye. Perception failed. Oh, crap. There's something in here to perceive. Something over there. A button. Oh! It's the way... Wait, it's the way out. But not really. Because that's a dead end. So actually, we are stuck in here. We have to fast travel away and then come back. Well, all that we really got in here was the dye, right? There's really nothing else good in here. But the dye's pretty good. Red dye. I'm happy that I got some red dye. By the way, I just noticed the cape that I put on matches my outfit. Look, it's a blue cape and it matches my blue outfit. That's cool. All right. Let's, uh... You think I can break this thing? I'm just curious. You think they'll let me? I think it's fire. It looks fire immune to me. It is fire immune. The thing's indestructible. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll just fast travel back again and then come back here and continue looting. Here we go. Uh, an echo, please don't say that. He says, oh, he wants to play... Like a Dragon two hours per night, and it's going to take forever. I don't want to play Like a Dragon two hours per night. I want to play Like a Dragon a lot, but no one shows up to the streams or, or, or engages or supports, and all I get is people complaining. So it's going to have to be a late-night chill stream. I would love to play Like a Dragon a ton. I would. But I played it three times this last week, and every single time I played it, it was a slow-ass stream, and I'm like, I just, I can't, I can't operate a business like that. You understand? So please don't spread misinformation. I want to play the game more. I love it. Okay. Uh, B. Peruser's up to his old tricks. The damn rat tried to sail right past without paying the toll. Half dozen crates this time as we miss a shipment that large. Transfer them to impound and no funny business. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Silks from Cormir, it says. Rock cheese cheese. from the Dale lands. Mm. Or what's left of it. It looks like... Can we jump down here? There's stuff down there, for sure. But I don't know how you would go down there safely. Weaver, silver knife, dog, and cat collar. Oh, man. There used to be pets here, and they murdered the pets. Why did they do that? Why did someone murder their own pets? You fucking assholes. Right? Why would they do that? That's really fucked up. I don't like that at all. You find the collars of the dead creatures and a butcher knife. So they were killing pets and, and making food out of them, basically. It's fucked up, man. Like, yeah, well, how about this? I know a good replacement for, for pets you turn into food. How about we cut off your dicks and fry them up as nice fresh sausages, right? And man, I bet that your testes are some pretty tasty treats when you fry them up nicely and bread them. <laughs> Why don't we do that instead? Instead of killing the pets, you fucking assholes. I'm stuck. <laughs> Help wanted. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Hauliers and merchants wanted. Sail the silvery seas, gaze upon the gate. No experience required. All right, so there were locked doors on the top floor. We should probably go check those out. Go back up and see what those locked doors were on the top floor. 
Amazing analogy. Yeah, I'm pretty good at analogies, right? Of course. It's my specialty. My speciality. My speciality. Oh, there's, actually, there's a rooftop as well. Oh. What's that? Seized inventory. Oh. Interesting. There's a room here with good stuff in it. How do we get to it? Can we burn these... These, uh... Can we burn that shit? Or is there a secret entrance? Somewhere here? Shadow Cursed Vines. Shadow Cursed. It says they're medium toughness. Do you think that Lazel could cut right through them? Yes. It's just gonna take a bit. I mean, she's got the big ass sword. Of course, she's gonna chop this shit down. I don't care if it's medium toughness. Get that shit out of my way. A little tedious, but oh well. Fuck off. They just disappear. <laughs> they just disappear. What to do? Well, we've got a great axe plus one, a prayer book, a chest. What's in the chest? Lock. Well, Careful, I might. Say. You never found a way past the vines? What, you didn't have... You didn't freaking have a... Uh, a warrior on your team? <laughs> Easy. Fire heart. Fervent flame. Whenever you take fire damage dealt by another creature, you'll gain two turns of heat. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? So they can't. Not like junk. Can't give up now. Great axe plus one. Send it to can't. Can't just send it to can't. Uh, excuse me. A Selenite prayer book. <clears throat> Quench us with the blah blah blah. I didn't blah. realize we had time to read children's stories. Actually, it's probably your story, since we're finding out that you were a selenite when you were a child before you were basically kidnapped, so you know. <clears throat> okay. So there's really no reason to come in this room besides the the crappy stuff. It's crappy stuff I don't want. So we can go up the left. We must press forward. Let's deal with Kethrick, then find Voss in Boulder's Gate. I didn't even want to talk to her. We can go up the ladder, but there's also those other locked doors. But let's go up the ladder first. Oh, we're on the rooftop. Anything up here? A backpack. Why is there a backpack up here? Thieves tools. Trap disarm kit. Don't really need the other stuff. <clears throat> Am I interested in Until Dawn? And replaying Until Dawn? <clears throat> I don't know. The thing with Until Dawn, it's much like most of those narrative-based games. Once, once the plot is revealed, basically the whole appeal of playing it is gone. Like, you already know the twist, right? Like, I remember. I totally remember the twist of the game. And I did go back and replay it again another time to try to get alternate outcomes so playing it now you know eight nine years later i don't know if that's really going to change the original playthrough that much i think the original playthrough looked amazing right remember how good the graphics were at the time so i'm not sure that's something people would be interested in i guess it's more of a question for you guys but by the way we just went in a circle it's more of a question for you guys i don't know if you would want me to rebuy and play until dawn again <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Double M, my day's been fine. Thanks for asking. Some pretty darn good progress in the game and uh, and some good plot revelations and things unlocking. Now we have the ability to fully explore this area without the shadow curse bothering us, which is excellent. <clears throat> I'm sure there's much to do. So where were those locked doors? Over, over there? Right here. Did I go in this room yet? No. Because there's a chest. 
gold. What the hell's a no thick eye? It's a crafting uh, item. Okay. Cool. Play Cool says, until Dawn plays great on PS5, 60 frames per second, the remaster is not needed. There you go. <clears throat> Fallen Eagle says, I like, I feel like replaying a game that you that you know, you know all the twists and turns. That's how I feel. I lived it the first time. I don't want to waste money on playing it again. No, that's the thing. I I replay, I played Until Dawn once, and I replayed it and got the alternate endings. So I kind of know everything in the game. Like, I even remember how I did it and everything. So... <clears throat> I don't know if it would really make sense to go back and play it again. Like, what would the difference be? Elixir of the Colossus and Elixir of Arcane Cultivations. Cool. This is like a safe, but it doesn't do anything, huh? <clears throat> a busted safe. Alright, now we can go through those other doors. Mm. Which are over here. Here they are. I have to lockpick these too. Simple. We are. Only a twenty seven. <clears throat> I've got a lot of blood. <clears throat> another opulent. No, 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 no. Another opulent chest. <laughs> Locked. Okay. Like, I don't want to pick that other shit up. Hardly a challenge. He hasn't failed at lock picking since, like, the beginning of the game. I don't think he ever will at this point. Glove of the Battle Mage Power. Okay. When a weapon attack roll inflicts a condition, the wielder gains arcane acuity, strength saving flows plus one, saving flows, strength saving throws plus one. Man, uh, who would who would ba uh, benefit from this? Maybe will. When a weapon attack roll inflicts a condition, the wielder gains arcane acuity. Eh, I'll put it in a freaking camp. <laughs> I'm not gonna use that now. Most of the stuff I'm finding, I'm never gonna use now. Um, well, it is. All right, I guess that's it for this. It looks like we've cleared the toll house. I mean, there's a few pieces of gold on the floor, but I'm not too keen about picking every piece of gold up. Uh, here, we'll go back to Moonrise. Oh no, you know what? Should we go no further north, or should we go to no Moonrise and West? I don't even know. Let's try to go north. Do that from downstairs. Shit. What's my what's my feelings on Brothers of Tale of Two Sons remake? Loved it on on what was it? PlayStation Three. Thought it was an outstanding game. Um, but that was a long time ago. That was a, one of those games that I think I had played right when I moved out here. So it's probably a whole generation of people that have never played it, and it's a great game. Uh, I don't know if you really again do you really need a remake? Don't know, but it's a great game that I think other people wouldn't enjoy experiencing. A new waypoint has been discovered? Oh! Wraithwind Town has a waypoint. Okay. What's this? A bridge. It goes eastward to where we had come from. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I got stuck. Okay, I didn't get stuck. The Ruined Battlefield. Let's do a quick save. <clears throat> As we keep exploring pretty fun exploring this area so we got stuff down there to the right that's gonna loop us back to places we've been mm. all right this is where we came from so maybe we should try to go further north well, there is an area here we didn't go to yet. Should we check that out? Remember, we didn't really fully investigate anything out here. Because we were just sticking with the group. But now we're free to do whatever we want out here.
See what's over here. We can also see what's over here. Let's go the other way first. Ah, okay. Freedom of all exploration is excellent. Just some gold. Nothing too special. Is that really it? It looks like that's it. Yep. Like, maybe we could jump up, but it looks like it'll probably just loop to the things we've already done. Like, there's stuff here, maybe, but I'm not sure how to make get access to that. There's, like, a ballista up there. See that? Looks like you would do this from another direction. All right. All right. What happened to the Dryder? He ran away. When we got to Moonrise Tower, he ran away. So do we want to go back and explore this area further? Or do we want to go down here? Or do we want to go up there? Hmm. Maybe we should do this first. Before we move on. It looks like this might be a dead end down here. have here oh shit we all failed a survival check what are we missing here I don't like failing a survival check oh What's that? oh okay at least it's a tip to dig I thought it was a booby trap or something this? Can I access this? Fuck this. It's not working. Gold. Oil. Elixir. Amazing. New potion of animal speaking, so we got a bonus one. Not that we would... Well, I guess technically if I want to talk to the animal, right? If I want to talk to the animal, then I've got to drink that. Right. Okay. So we did this. Yep. So I guess we'll, cr we'll cross again. And I guess we could either head due north here. Let's, let's go back to the area we were in. And head further north. Is all of Act 2 taking place on the map we're at right now? Is it all this shadow infested map? <clears throat> A dead Kithyanki. The corpse may hold something useful. Oh, really? The corpse is too damaged. No? What's the point of them saying that, then, if you can't do anything? Mostly, yes. There's also a dungeon. There's a shadow-infested land and one big dungeon. Okay. <clears throat> That's stupid. I get the Yankee uh, body, and you go to do something with it, and it won't let you. So what was the point? Okay. So here's our new fast travel spot. Useful. <clears throat> okay, let's just start heading like northward and see where this leads. We have about 10 minutes left on today's stream. But don't worry, this is now back in the regular rotation. I'll be playing it several times a week again. See that symbol on the ground? 
This was a Mason's guild. That symbol right there he's talking These about. These Mason's metamorph and judging by the impaled skeletons there. Now ah, look. Bark skin recipe. Elixir of bark skin. Fuck. Something over there. Odd looking bones. A pile of crushed <clears throat> bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. Okay. A pile of crushed bones of varying Here shapes, lies the sizes, grand mason. and creatures. His bones and lies exposed. His bones and lies exposed? What does that mean? Are they saying he wasn't even human? Oh, a piece of infernal iron. Cool. <clears throat> Been a little while since we found one of those. Good stuff here. I want to give this to Hysterian, but they won't let me. <laughs> no one's okay. stuck me yet. <clears throat> Guess we go up. Trap door down, but I guess we should go up first. <clears throat> There's a lump hammer, weathered chisel set. Nothing too important up here, so I don't know why it even exists, right? I guess it's just another way in and out. Oh, that looks creepy. Is that a cemetery? It looks like we're headed to like a cemetery over there. So, all right, but let's go do the, uh... <clears throat> let's go do... The hatch down, shall we? Need something. Yeah, I need you to get out of my way so I can go down this ladder and stop acting like I'm talking to you, because I'm not. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> okay. To the hatch. Oh, use an elevator. Huh? Now I'm back out here. What's the point of this? I don't know what the point of that elevator is. That seems completely worthless right now. Weird. Why have an elevator there? <laughs> anyway. Insignia. Don't ask me how you lockpick an insignia on the wall, but it's all good. <clears throat> like I said, I don't think I'm ever gonna fail a lock ever again in the game at this rate. Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh, this is much bigger than I thought. It looks like you're, it's heading to like an area, like a dungeon. I wonder if it does. Reinforced gilded chest. Hmm. What's that? It's booby-trapped. A booby-trapped chest. 
do a quick save before we try just in case. First we disarm, then we lockpick, right? Only a 32. Oh, there's no lock on it after that. Whoa, this place is huge. Look at this. It's going to be its own, like, area. Holy crap. We stumbled upon a giant area with enemies in it. Oh, boy. Moonrise diagram. So what is this red? What is seeing us? There's something in here that can see us, but I have no idea what it is. A carefully drawn diagram of Moonrise Towers. A circle of reading draws your attention as though something has been stashed in the tower's prison dungeon? Really? But well, we've already been there. No, you idiot! What did you do? Asterion, you dunce! He aggroed a room full of shadow creatures. Oh, man. You ignoramus. Teleported and he, he had dislocated his own shoulder. What did he do? I think he covered us in darkness, right? He covered us in darkness, so now we can't see. Is that what's going on here? spell than uh, the fireball, but now I've completely forgotten. Is it Ice Storm? I guess it's supposed to be Ice Storm. It's Area of Effect. My shoulder is dislocated from when I reached into the tower. What the fuck? How do I fix that? I'm being told this fight's just gonna be very long because these enemies are annoying. They go invisible and it takes forever, so I should just save now. Probably a good idea. I'll cast Sunbeam and kill them all with one blast! Okay, that's not gonna happen.
She has too many abilities. I have no idea what to use. Killed him. It's kind of what I wanted to do. There's a lot. There's like one, two, three, three more. There's five enemies total, right? Five more. There's one there, one there, one there. I can't see the other two. I don't even know where the hell they are. The other two enemies. Hmm. All right, how about this? Let's save, and next time around, we'll resume from here. Sounds like a plan. We'll do this fight. We'll clear this mason area and go from there. All right, guys. Well, good stream today. What I'm happy about is now Act 2 has opened up. You know, we had like two streams where Act 2 was very restricted. When we first arrived, we had to follow our guide, and then when we got to the Moonrise Tower, we were kind of stuck in there for a while. Now that we can actually open Explore, I think it's going to be pretty fun. And, uh... I hope that you guys will join me next time. Now, you might say, well, when's next time? Well, originally it was going to be Friday, but now as we were doing this stream, people are like, oh, there's a free Silent Hill game out. Would you do that? And it's like, well, maybe if that's what people would like, I guess what we'll have to do is talk about it. Again, I don't know what it is. If the Silent Hill game is only a half an hour long, then no, we're not doing that on Friday, right? I guess we need to figure that out. So let's see, because I'm sure people will download it and play it and talk about it. So let me know what this thing is and go from there. But we are playing it this weekend for sure. Either Friday or Saturday, okay? Um, ooh, and again, ouch. I just want to say thanks to those who come by and chill and support these streams. I really, really appreciate it, okay? Thank you for that. All right, until next time during this weekend, thank you guys. See you then.